Hello, I'm Tim Peacock, a volunteer at Pendon Museum, and this is an episode of Views of the Vale, our series that brings to life the buildings and places in which Pendon's Vale scene is based. In this episode, we are on the northwestern edge of the Vale of White Horse, on the eastern outskirts of the town of Swindon, and we are visiting Shrivenham and South Marston. A historic link between Shrivenham and South Marston was the Wilts and Barks Canal, which reached Shrivenham in 1805. Coal deliveries from the Somerset coalfield being the main traffic. These deliveries collapsed in the early 1850s, from 272 tonnes in 1850 to only 28 tonnes just two years later, mainly as a result of competition from the railway. The canal was formally abandoned in 1914. I'm standing outside the Carpenter's Arms in South Marston. The canal passed within 200 yards or so to the south of here. Many of you will be familiar with Pendon's model of this pub. It's one of the first that you see in the museum when you come upstairs to the Vale scene. We'll be coming back here at the end of the tour, so let's go on our first stop in Shrivenham. Although St Andrews is not modelled at Pendon, this large church is a symbol of Shrivenham's historical importance as a medieval market town. Originally, there may have been an early 10th century Saxon minster on the site, followed by new church building in the 12th and 13th centuries, with the bell tower being added in the 15th century. In 1638, the medieval parts were demolished, leaving only the bell tower. Wings from each of the tower arches were built to create the present church, an unusual blend of the late perpendicular and classical styles. On the western edge of the church land is a charming building called Jasmine Cottage. Formerly known as Littlecott, Jasmine Cottage is a 17th century listed building made of brick and colour washed rubble stone with a half hipped thatched roof and eyebrow dormers. Its eastern wall forms part of the wall of the churchyard. Superficially it looks as if little has changed over the years, but it has been modified since the 1930s, especially the windows in the west wall. The model at Pendon is located close to the village church. Shrivenham's busy high street is a short walk from the church and has around 20 shops, including the building that at Pendon is Yates Butcher's Shop and the post office. Until the Shrivenham bypass was built in the 1980s, the high street was on the main Oxford to Swindon road. Since the Pendon period, the butcher shop has had a chequered history. In the 1950s, an accident involving a lorry led to the modernisation of the shop front. Then in 1976, by which time it was both a butcher's and a hairdresser's, the building was gutted by fire. The fire service saved most of the row of thatch buildings from destruction, although the roof of the shop was damaged beyond repair, and the building now has a modern tiled roof of simulated Stonesfield slate. This is an illustration of the value of Pendon in preserving the former appearance of buildings in the Vale. Today the shop is both a pharmacy and a hair and beauty salon, the cart sheds now being occupied by an estate agent. The models at Pendon often include details that aren't easily visible during a museum visit, such as the interior of the cart shed and the butcher inside his shop. Cowley's farmhouse is located about a mile south of Shrivenham and is now a private dwelling in a quiet cul-de-sac which ends at the Great Western Main Line. In the 1960s, the thatched farmhouse and some of the outbuildings were separated from the farm and sold for residential use. Cowley's farmhouse was designated as a Grade II listed building in 1983. A few outbuildings still remain from its days as a working farm, and the surrounding land continues to be in agricultural use, its rich clay soil being ideal for arable crops. In the Pendon era, the farmland was mainly pasture for raising beef cattle and dairy farming, although there were some arable crops. This is reflected in the Pendon model, which shows that in those days the farm consisted of the farmhouse, a pair of semi-detached farm workers' cottages and a very comprehensive range of farm buildings. The village of South Marston, which dates from at least the 13th century, lies west of Shrivenham and just a few miles from Swindon, a town that is probably best known historically for the Great Western Railway Works, which opened in 1843. 
Although not immediately apparent, Acorn Bridge illustrates the development of transport in the 19th and 20th centuries. The railway bridge, designed by Brunel and constructed around 1840, has two skewed bevel-edged arches. The western arch carried the Great Western Main Line over the Swindon to Oxford Road, and the eastern arch carried it over the adjacent Wilts and Barks Canal, which had opened in the early 1800s. The railway rapidly supplanted the canal's haulage operations, and the canal was eventually abandoned in 1914, although today sections of the canal are being reopened for recreational use. In the late 20th century, the increase in traffic on the A420, the main road between Oxford and Swindon, required the use of both arches of Acorn Bridge, and today, travelling from Oxford to Swindon, you drive through the arch previously used by the canal. The bridge was built with local Vale bricks, but over the years these have deteriorated and have been replaced by more durable engineering bricks. The brickwork at the base of the canal arch would have had a waterproof rendering, often seen on canal bridges, but the present rendering was probably applied after the canal was closed and dewatered. The pendant model of Acorn Bridge shows the abandoned canal in the eastern arch. The bridge is one of the longest models in the Vale scene, and it is estimated that the model has about 100,000 individually scribed and detailed bricks. A group of cottages modelled at Pendon, Sunnyside, Two Ways and 77, are on the old Oxford to Swindon Road, about half a mile to the west of Acorn Bridge. The cottages were built in a narrow corridor between the Great Western Railway immediately to the north and the Wilson Barks Canal immediately to the south. Sunnyside and Two Ways are both 19th century estate cottages. The older of the two, Sunnyside, is end on to the road with stone walls and a steep pitched roof that originally may have been thatched. Two Ways was built in 1891, next door to Sunnyside and parallel to the road, with hardly any gap between the two houses. Two Ways is brick built and has a slate roof. Both Sunnyside and Two Ways have been extended since the Pendon period. About a hundred yards from Two Ways is a pair of Victorian semi-detached houses built in 1877, as confirmed by the builder's wall plaque. The building, simply known as 77 at Pendon, has distinctive houndstooth brickwork on the gable ends and chimneys. The Pendon models have been set to the north of both the abandoned canal and the railway to provide additional foreground interest for the visitor. In the middle of South Marston, the Church of St Mary Magdalene has a well-preserved and attractive lich gate in the Gothic style, with a pegged oak frame and scissor braces supporting a stone-tiled roof. There are distinctive carvings in the side screens and beneath the winged oak barge boards at each end. At Pendon, the model of this lich gate is located at St Mary's Church, for which the prototype is the church at Bishopstone, which is visited in another episode of Views of the Vale. Lich gates stood at the main entrance to the enclosed area around a church, at the division between consecrated and unconsecrated ground. Here, the coffin bearers sheltered while waiting for the clergyman to lead the funeral procession into the church. The name Lichgate derives from the Anglo-Saxon lich, meaning corpse. The Carpenter's Arms, on Old Vicarage Lane, is just off the A420 Oxford to Swindon Highway and about three quarters of a mile from South Marston Village. It is close to the Great Western Railway main line and Roy England frequently used the embankment as a vantage point for his photographs of Great Western trains. He also photographed the Carpenter's Arms from this location. The building is a characteristic late Georgian house of stone and brick with a slate roof. Following the Beer House Act of 1830, it became a beer house, brewing and selling beer on the premises. In 1881, it was bought by Arkles, a Swindon-based brewer, which still owns the pub today. The bay window at the front is a late 19th century construction that caused the slight settlement of the wall above. The building was much extended during the late 19th century and the latter half of the 20th century, and Pendon's model shows the building before the more recent changes. 
We've now completed our tour of Shrivenham and South Marston and come to the end of this episode of Views of the Vale. As in other episodes, we've tried, wherever we can, to provide links between the models at Pendon, the buildings and landscape features on which they are based, and how the way of life has changed over the last 90 to 100 years. Hopefully this has whetted your appetite for more, so please do take a look at other episodes in this series. We hope you have enjoyed this short video. We have a lot more from Pendon to share with you, and do subscribe to our YouTube channel, which we update regularly.